the Kimber K6S DCR revolver. Let's check it out. Kimber was founded in 1979, and for the past over 40 years, they have been producing really fine, high-quality firearms, mainly known for their 1911s, which are absolutely beautiful. The fit, the finish is just exceptional. So when they introduced their revolvers, I was really excited to see what they had come up with. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at the Kimber KS9 2-inch, and this is the DCR for Deluxe Carry Model. This is a beautiful firearm, and it's in 357 Magnum. So you have a lot of flexibility between 38, 357. And guys, honestly, I have not been disappointed. And we really appreciate Kimber for sending the K6S DCR for this test and evaluation. Guys, I have to say that this is probably one of the most beautiful revolvers that I've seen. I mean, it's just a work of art. And I expected that from Kimber, just to be honest. Um, you know, they're always really good about doing incredible fine finishes on their firearms. Let's go ahead and make sure the gun isn't loaded. We're gonna open it up and it's empty. This is a double action only revolver, and that means the hammer is enclosed in this shroud. Uh, so when you pull the trigger, you have to just pull it. There's no hammer back here. And uh, we're gonna take a look at some other options but we're gonna really kind of focus on the Kimber because honestly, it's in a class all by itself. And really just some small things that make a big difference. Now this shoots 38 Special and 357. 357 Magnum, you're gonna get a lot more velocity. Uh, you're gonna get more power uh, with the 38. It is just a great round. It's been around for a long time and there are a lot of self-defense options you know, they can increase it, but you're still not going to match the 357 Magnum. Either one are excellent. There's a ton of different choices, and it makes this a very flexible option. One thing about a semi-automatic is you've got to be careful when you're shooting lighter loads. You may have a single shot. Uh, with a revolver, you're, because that cylinder rotates, you don't have to worry as much about the reliability with, you know, weaker loads. Or whether you go with stronger loads. But the big thing about this revolver is just the finish. Uh, number one, it's been dehorned. All the sharp edges have been removed. And that makes it excellent for concealed carry. You don't have to worry about it snagging. It prints less because your clothes seem to just fold over. Uh, also, it's been blended. So any edges have just been smoothly blended down. And um, I'll tell you guys, just the beauty of this thing is just incredible. But we're going to look at some details that really set this one apart. And then we have an all stainless steel frame, barrel, cylinder. And so it's going to have a little bit of heft to it. But it still comes in about 23 ounces. So it's still a fairly lightweight option. But one of the things about having a, an aluminum frame is that you're going to have more felt recoil. And that's one of the big things about a full stainless solid steel pistol. And Smith & Wesson makes a number of them. Ruger makes some. And so there, there are other options out there. Now, one big thing about this particular gun is its sights. Um, one thing about most of your small little snubby type revolvers is that you have very rudimentary sights. Just have a cutter trough right here, and then you have a front sight. Uh, with this one, we do have a rear sight that has been dovetailed in. And you can actually shift this over for windage, you know, if there's any kind of issue. And then we have a fiber optic front sight. Now that goes with the DCR model or the deluxe carry revolver. And that's what this one's called. This is their more of their top of the line. Uh, they do make a more of a, I almost don't want to say utilitarian model, 
but it's still fine quality and yet you know it has more of a brush finish it has different type sights has a rubber grip I love this beautiful rosewood grip I mean it's just gorgeous and you know while the rubber grip gives you a little more cushioning uh, this still is designed to be able to really mitigate again some of the recoil now with any of these revolvers there is going to be some recoil uh, you know they're, they're small and it's just physics uh, especially when you get up to the 357 Magnum you're gonna have some recoil uh, but one of the things I've learned about these firearms and I've been shooting these for years is that once you figure out the recoil impulse and how the gun reacts when it's fired you can adjust your shooting grip you can adjust the way you shoot and you know your expectations and then you begin to master the firearm and that's one thing you really need to do when it comes to a firearm like this but one thing they've done is they've got these cuts on the side of the cylinder so it makes it really thin in fact it's 1.39 inches in thickness so it's a very thin revolver most revolvers kind of come out a little bit more uh, and another big plus for this firearm is it is six rounds instead of five which a lot of these small revolvers have so the six rounds gives you an extra round capability also it has recessed cylinders it actually rests inside the cylinder and on a lot of revolvers that the rim actually rests on the face of the cylinder the big deal about that is if you ever have an overpressured round it's going to contain the round better in the chamber now you do have this short throw which is typical for most of your uh, ejectors when it comes to these small little revolvers so it's not going to bring the brass all the way out but it's still capable of getting rid of that brass really quickly another thing is we notice we have a secured area for our cylinder rod and so it's going to rest right in here in the shroud but it's super smooth. I mean, it just glides. Everything about this pistol, you can tell, it's just been very well thought out. Now, the push button here is a lot like the Ruger. You just push in, and it opens up, uh, unlike the Smith, where you push forward, or the Colt, where you pull back. <laughs> I like this actually better. I mean, it's more intuitive, and it just allows for you to press, pull out your cylinder, and you're ready to go. I mean, so smooth. You do have some serrations on the back. Again, that's going to give you just a little more gripping surface. Uh, and of course, the checkering that's on the grip itself. But it's not a large grip. This is meant for concealed carry. It's meant, you know, to carry in your pocket, carry it inside the waistband or outside the waistband. And so it just really allows for excellent concealed carry. Guys, I do like to carry revolvers. Now, you definitely have less capacity, but honestly, most gun fights are three shots, three rounds, three feet. Now these sights are replaceable. You do have a pin uh, here and then you have a dovetail in the back and Kimber actually offers night sights and they offer three dot sights that come on some of their other models and you can actually order those right off of the Kimber website and I'm sure that there are aftermarket sources as well. And so that's one thing that's really different about a lot of your small revolvers like this is they don't have other sight options. And if you're off shooting to the left, you're just shooting to the left. And so it makes it really nice to have this option and to be able to adjust the sight if you need to. But to me, one of the biggest pluses for this firearm is its trigger. This is, to me, the best trigger for a double action firearm I've ever shot. Uh, one thing about it is it's super smooth. And so while you have your take up right here, it comes to a slight little wall where you can stage your shot did a really nice break uh, sometimes with double action revolvers uh, they can be uh, you know long it can be heavy which this still has about a 10 pound trigger pull but because it's so smooth it allows for really good accuracy and we'll look at that when we take it to the range super smooth and then it gets right to the break you feel it and then you can take your shot uh, that's one of the things again double action can be a bear because you don't really know when it's going to break as far as accuracy goes and we'll check the trigger pull weight with our Lyman trigger gauge from Brownells nine pounds 8.1 ounces we appreciate Fioki for sponsoring the ammo uh, all made in the USA and uh, this is 357 Magnum 158 grain and we appreciate Kimber for sending the speed loaders these are really nice all metal construction we're also using some 38 special and this is the 130 grain full metal jacket
Now guys, I love small revolvers. Uh, I love to take them out to the range. I love to carry small revolvers uh, on occasion. I do carry typically semi-automatics, but there's something about a revolver that's just small, it's simple, and you just pull the trigger and it goes bang. Uh, when you put that with a 357 Magnum, you know, you have a lot of power in your hands. One of the great things with this being an all steel frame is that the 357 Magnum is not excessive in recoil, but it is definitely there. Uh, you know, really when you're pulling up those second, third follow-up shots, you've got to really have a good solid grip on the firearm. But the great thing is, is 38 Special and Plus P especially, is still an excellent carry choice. And to me, that's what I would carry in this firearm. Shooting 38 Special, it's fairly mild and you know it's just easy to get on target but the big thing about this revolver is that super smooth crisp trigger and it allows you to get it back to that one breaking point and it's a very nice crisp break being double action only as well you really need a really smooth trigger to be able to get good accuracy but you really again have to master these firearms but when it comes to that smooth double action trigger pull it allows for really good accuracy They do make models called the DESA, which is double action, single action, and it'll have a hammer, and you can pull back on the hammer. But this is just one of the offerings from Kimber. Uh, they do make a number of different barrel lengths as well. Uh, this is the two inch. They do make the three inch and a four inch. And again, 357 Magnum, and you can shoot 38s. And so you can train with your 38, you can get out and shoot, then when you want to bring in your 357 Magnum, you can. Now me personally, I would carry this firearm with 38 plus P rounds. Um, one of the problems with 357 Magnum, while you know it's got a lot of power behind it, with this shorter barrel, you're losing a lot of the velocity that you would gain out of a 357 Magnum. Now we have some Fiocchi 130 grain 38 Specials, and we have 158 grain Full Metal Jacket 357 Magnum. But in a two inch barrel with self-defense loads, using Federal 125 grain jacketed hollow points, out of a two inch barrel, you're getting 949 feet per second out of the 357 Magnum. With plus P Federal 125 grain, we're getting 700 feet per second. So you can see it's 250 feet per second more with the 357 Magnum. But again, one of the problems is, is with the felt recoil, it's going to be more difficult to get your second and third follow-up shots. Whereas with the 38, you're going to be able to get better accuracy. And shot placement, honestly, guys, is the big plus. When you move up to 3 inch and 4 inch, the velocities increase quite a bit. But one of the things I like about the 2 inch is it's just very concealable. Now I wanted to bring in my Smith & Wesson 442. This is in 38 Special. It is a Centennial model, so that it's got the internal hammer and it's double action only. And it is unloaded. You'll notice that it doesn't have the recess here for the cylinder. Uh, and it is an aluminum frame. So this is super lightweight. Uh, but again, you don't have the 357 Magnum. Of course, Smith & Wesson does make these in 357. Uh, and also we have an exposed ejector rod here, which is not covered at the bottom. Uh, one big thing too is, is the sights. You can see the type sights we have here. And guys, I've been carrying this for at least 10 years. So it's got some dings to it. But the sights are just what they are. They're fixed. Now, this is a good shooting revolver and it's fairly accurate and it's on point. But to be honest with you guys, this is a fantastic firearm. And of course, we do have our VZ grips, which VZ also makes grips for the Kimber if you want to get something like this. These are Micarta and they're just beautiful. And then even a more budget option would be your Ruger LCR. Now, this one's actually a 9mm. It has a polymer frame at the back and it does have aluminum that is all throughout. And so this is kind of an unusual state-of-the-art firearm. I really like these. Uh, I think the trigger pull typically is a little less than the Smith, but not near what the Kimber is. Uh, but again, you've got those gutter sights. The front, you do have options to change things out some. Uh, and this is a great firearm, but this one is your double single action. 
to make sure that the gun is unloaded. Okay, you can pull the hammer back and you can fire a very soft single action, easier trigger pull, or you can go with double action. Kimber does offer their double single action revolvers. Um, and you know that is a good option especially if you take it to the range and you just like that but honestly for a self-defense firearm I really would rather have just the double action because that's what you're going to shoot it in a self-defense situation anyway then for the budget side we have the Rock Island Armory 206 model 206 it is a double action only even though the hammer is exposed and so we can just pull that and uh, that's the way you fire it I really like this firearm I mean it's fairly inexpensive Another great option on the budget side would be your Taurus. Uh, Taurus Model 85, they make a number of different Tauruses, and they're good quality. And again, the price is quite a bit considerably less. But if you want to go to the top of the food chain, uh, the Kimber is definitely a lot more refined than all the different pistols we've just looked at. And that's just a sampling. There are others out there. But I think one of the big things about the Kimber is not only is it just blended, smooth, I mean, it's just a beautiful fitted firearm, but that trigger pull sets it apart way above all the rest. Guys, for some reason, a lot of ladies are just drawn to a revolver. Uh, one of the problems with a revolver is typically the trigger pull is pretty heavy, so it makes it difficult to fire. Plus, honestly, if you're going to carry something like this, you need to master it. I've known a lot of examples of friends of mine whose wives wanted a revolver, and they got it and they ended up selling it because it, they just really weren't comfortable shooting it and the trigger pull was pretty heavy. And so if your significant other or those with weaker hand strength are looking for revolvers, uh, I'd really take them out and let them test fire it before you buy something. Now there are a lot of accessories that are on the Kimber website, but there's a lot of aftermarket support as well. Uh, one thing we have is a holster and this of course is Kimber leather holster outside the waistband. I've actually been carrying this for a good while and this is an excellent holster. Uh, I typically don't carry firearms outside the waistband but with this revolver I really enjoyed having it and it's so low profile that it doesn't print. Also they have their speed loaders which these are beautiful. All aluminum just really easy to load those rounds in. In fact you know you just pop it open and you know of course that is the big thing with revolvers is the loading. You're not throwing in a magazine so you drop in your speed loader and then you just turn the knob and releases and now your rounds are here and then you can carry extra speed loaders. This again takes some training and uh, it's one of those things where you need again to take training and honestly whatever firearm you have. We're going to go ahead and dump these out. And there is aftermarket support with other grips. VZ makes grips, Hogue makes grips, and other companies. So you have a lot of options. But honestly, these grips are not going anywhere. They're absolutely beautiful. But I do understand putting on some rubberized grips. It does take some of the shock out, <laughs> especially if you're firing 357 Magnum. But guys, on the Kimber website, there's a ton of different options. Of course, there's the 2-inch model, there's the 3-inch model, and then they have the 4-inch models. And some of those are even target models with even better sights, uh, different type grips, different finishes. And so there's a lot of options there on KimberAmerica.com. So guys, while I love my Smith & Wesson Centennial and have been carrying this thing for about 10 years, um, I think it's going to be replaced in my concealed carry rotation uh, with the K6S DCR. I mean, this is absolutely just beautiful. And that smooth trigger, man, that just makes a world of difference. Now, when it comes to producing revolvers, it is more expensive than especially your striker fire pistols, but even more so than your double single action pistols. And there's a lot of hand fitting, and especially with Kimber, I mean, it's a really exceptional finish and fit on these handguns. And so the retail price on the DCR is $1,189. Of course, you can find that you know, at your local gun shop. Typically, market price is less. And the retail price on their basic model is $938. And again, market price, you can find it for less. But if you really want a very fine quality revolver that's really state of the art, and one of the best, if not the best, double action trigger that I've ever fired, uh, I really highly recommend the Kimber K6S 2-inch or their other offerings. Uh, they're just really beautiful, exceptional guns. You know, I do a lot of gun reviews, but when I knew these Kimbers were coming, I was really excited. And honestly, I was not disappointed. And again, I want to thank Kimber for sending the DCR for this test and evaluation. 
Guys, this will be part of my concealed carry rotation. This thing is just absolutely beautiful. Guys, if you depend on a firearm for self-defense, it's really important that you don't go it alone. I've been a member of the USCCA, or the United States Concealed Carry Association, for over four years, and it really gives you peace of mind. The USCCA was founded to help you understand laws and self-defense education. They offer industry-leading training, and to me, one of the most important features is they offer self-defense liability insurance. They have 100% risk-free, money-back, bulletproof guarantee. I'll have an affiliate link down below in the description. And guys, when it comes to a self-defense situation, with USCCA, you have a friend. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America, long live the Republic. In a lot of your, and what is this? This looks like 357. No, and these are just uh, solid copper. These are copper jacketed. <laughs> what in the heck? These are good, good, good. They're not solid copper, dude. And so we got in touch. Okay. And uh, they just lock into place. <laughs> Let's lock it first, Porter. In 1979. Kimber was founded in 1970. <laughs> Still recording. 50, this is 357 Magnum. Sound like Hickox range. <laughs>